Hi folks, exciting news out of Washington today from Reuters. So it seems scientists have found a whole new use for copier paper. According to Stanford University researchers, when ordinary office paper is coated with an inky layer of carbon nanotubes or nanowires, it will become lightweight, flexible, and highly conductive battery or superconductor. Scientists at Stanford University managed to turn a piece of paper that had been coated with ink made from silver and carbon into what has been called a paper battery. This discovery may open up a whole new door set when designing future portable devices like smartphones. The work, published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, could lead to paintable energy storage. And since paper is made up of millions of tiny interconnected fibers, paper is a good candidate to hold on to carbon nanotubes, providing a scaffold on which to build devices. Standard copier paper used in our everyday life can be a solution in storing energy in a more efficient and cheap way. The experienced technology developed in the paper industry over a century can now be transferred to improve the process and performance of these paper-based devices. This type of battery could be useful in powering electric and hybrid vehicles, would make electronics lighter weight and longer lasting, and might even lead to someday paper electronics, scientists were saying. The battery weight and life has always been an obstacle to commercial viability of electric powered cars and trucks, as we all know. Tough on model airplanes, too. Well, society really needs a low-cost, high-performance energy storage device such as batteries and simple supercapacitors. And this is what the Stanford Assistant Professor of Material Science and Engineering and Paper co-author Yi Kui said. Kui said in an email that in addition to being useful for portable electronics and wearable electronics, our paper supercapacitors can be used for all kinds of applications that require instant high power. Since our paper batteries and supercapacitors can be very low cost, they are also good for grid connecting energy storage. This is from Yai Dong Yang, professor of chemistry at the University of California, Berkeley. He said the technology would be commercialized within a short time. Now, that's exciting news. Those are the folks that deserve the Nobel Peace Prize.